You know what? Sorting through the red tape of life, you know? You got a lot of things going on. Like, we don't understand how we are, like, as far as our bodies and how we work. It's like we have a body that operates upon many different frequencies. And, like, this is only one frequency of, like, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of frequency, like, I will call the rainbow the frequency, you know, so the beginning of the rainbow would be your solid body, but then all the different colors that emanate from it is also your body, but they get denser and denser. Each color is like a little world that you exist in too, and so you got all the colors there, and in between the colors is like a band with a magnet that holds them together. This bandwidth is like an interstellar highway for beings, all types of parasites, bacteria, aliens, gods, whatever you want to call souls, consciousness, spirits. They all interact through there. You got a lot of people that got stuck in between life and death that's there too. You know, the Egyptians is the greatest because a lot of people don't understand themselves because really, if you look on every continent, you will find pyramids. And you know, we all think it's indigenous to the people that's there on that continent today. But when you really observe the pattern, what you realize is that in each of those pyramids, like even you go to South America, those pyramids have Egyptian artifacts in them. Even in Albania or whatever, they got them pyramids at. They have Egyptian artifacts in it, even though the people there is an Egyptian. You see, you got a pattern where you realize that the Egyptians, which is not really what their names is. Of course, they don't have no name because they're not really humans. You know, neither are we. That's what this is about. You're not really a human because they created you. And that's what they did. They went around on every continent and really like used genetics and formed everybody real quick. And then bounced, left their little symbol the pyramid representing the feminine principle or the feminine energy. The masculine is the air, everything else will do the rest. You have more frequencies and dimensions to you. You work on like your mind. Your mind work on a whole nother plane. It's a body just like this is a body. You can look at it as like your dreams. When you go to sleep, your mind comes out your body and assume a world upon its own frequency. And it looks just like this and operates similar. Now you got a casual frequency for your emotional self and other mental bodies too, that they all happen at the same time. You know, they're all going on and sometimes we have recollection of these. We see them taking place. We could see multiple events taking place at the same time, but they all have to do with you. That's part of your life. That's your experiences that you don't have. Some of us have a lot of um, atoms. Everybody have atoms, but you have particular atoms that have been through different stages of life that activates on you. Like for instance, they say hydrogen been here since the Big Bang. So a lot of us who's really highly concentrated hydrogen base could go all the way back to the Big Bang through astral projecting and through, you know, having little meditations. Aside from that, I like them. Aside from that, you could also um, have other elements on you that been here shorter than that or maybe half the lifespan that we've been living now and they've run 
activating on you and you see things happen. So all of those you got to take into consideration and the fact you're not solid, you know, you made an atoms, atoms are spaced out. You're like a, a being that could change. You're really like a starfish, not really a solid being. You could change form like cloud. That's our ancestors. You know, was, we come from what's the indigo line. The indigo line first bred higher beings that later on they tried to say was demons and demonized us. But there was these shape-shifting beings that left all the knowledge here, called the Magi's, the Chaldeans, the Egyptians. They've been keeping it and preserving it. Later on, you know, the Greeks and the Romans got it, twisted it around, and that's where we get the knowledge all twisted now that I'm trying to correct. Anyway, I'm getting to a noisy area. I just wanted to say that real quick. University of Conscious Science, one love.